Well, I'm Neville Agnew. I'm one of the senior staff in the Getty Conservation Institute. I've been there for 30 years. But here I am in Twefelfontein, the World Heritage Site, with these amazing petroglyphs that are so beautiful, intriguing, and embedded in the landscape. They are part of the landscape. When we look at this extraordinary landscape around us, we really are brought back in time to the to the sound people who lived here, eking out an existence as hunter-gatherers and creating their images on the rocks. So this is not just unique to Twefelfontein, it's part of our global heritage. You can go anywhere in the world and you will find rock art, art on rocks. That's what our passion is and it's a project that the Getty's been doing since its first inception in 1985. The colloquium, it's a big word, but actually what it means is a very simple concept. It's a thematic meeting of experts in which each expert is talking about a particular aspect of rock art conservation. And the bigger objective of this colloquium is to find ways to reach the public, to find ways to make the public aware of what rock art is, that it's part of all of our heritage in all time and everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's rock art. That's the message that really needs to be conveyed. The universality of rock art is really a moment's reflection on why rock art was made. And is still being made in some parts of the world. So it is a symptom and a manifestation and a creation of the human spirit, of the human mind. It's an impulse, it's an urge to create art for communication purposes. You can construe it and break it down in many, many ways. It's art for healing, but very often it's aesthetic as well. It reflects all of the emotions of humankind for all time and everywhere. <laughs> So there are just multiple ways in which the relevance of rock art today can be powerfully influence contemporary society. If we can, through this colloquium, initiate uh, through the participants here further momentum in filmmaking, in social media, in outreach, because those are the powerful media of today in which you can reach young people, you can reach even any, the whole spectrum of society, Show them the beauty of the art, but also then show them the beauty of the art in the beautiful landscapes, sometimes very severe, sometimes deep caves, but all across the landscape. So that's the way I think forward. I think once people have had an experience of rock art through visiting rock art sites, and that could be stimulated through film and, and, and social media, as I've said, once they've actually got them on the ground and you have uh, an interpretation of the rock art and it's shown to people it can be a small engraving, a small painting, it could be a faded painting like the White Lady of the Brandberg or uh, anywhere. I mean, once they see it and they're made to see it, it does two things for them. Not only does it create an interest, a, potentially a lifelong interest in rock art, but it actually teaches them to use their eyes and to look and to see and to know through looking. And that, that lesson I think is actually even more, more valuable. So the public is our audience in the end. The public is what we want to reach. If you've enjoyed this film, please like, comment and share. Watch other films and subscribe to the channel for new content using the links on screen.